In this video, I'm going to show you how to submit grades for the end of semester report card. So the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is log into Synergy and head over to the gradebook page. So I'm over here on this gradebook page. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and do a couple of things. First, you're going to want to make sure that you are in the right view. So from this menu here, of course, you can go to whichever period you want to be in. And then we have three marking periods over here. And since we are on the semester one, you want to make sure you're on this S1. Um, that way you'll be seeing all the assignments you put in with any due date all the way up until the very end of the grading period. So just double check that. And then, of course, if you are connected with Google Classroom, you might want to run a sync here, but because we're at the very end and maybe you've gone back and taken late work that's more than 30 days old, the best thing to do is go into the, the G from here and click on the little settings cog wheel and do the um, resync all scores and submissions. You can do all your classes at the same time. And then you're going to hit the button here to basically bring in any score, whether it's 30 days out or longer. This will bring over everything, every score that you've put in so far. And it takes a little while longer because again, it's syncing everything, every single thing from the whole semester from Google Classroom. But once it loads in, everything should be there as long as the due date fell within the grading period that we're in, right? After you've done that and you know you're on the right place and you've synced everything over, then you can go ahead and go into the report card area. Just go up to the word report card here and click on it. And you'll see here um, just basically the information, the current grade as, as is. And of course, you need to go in though and add your comments and citizenship marks. So you're going to hit this edit grades and comments button to come into this area here. Once in here, of course, the grades do come over. If you need to make any changes, you can do so from the drop down menus here and manually change the grade if that's what you're going to do. Um, otherwise, if you leave it blank, this is the grade that will come into the report card. Um, you also have your two comment fields if you want to add comments. And of course, all the codes are over here on this side if you need to review and see what um, each number corresponds to. But if you know which comments you're gonna give, you can put that in. And if you wanna give that to every student, you can fill down using the arrows there, or you can individually you can fill down and then individually go change a couple that you want to change. All right, so you can do your comments. Same thing with citizenship. You're going to choose citizenship. You can fill down if you want and then go back and just make a few changes that you need to change. Once you've completed that, you're going to want to make sure you save those changes with the save button. And then you'll go ahead and if you're ready, you can post from here. So you click the post button, takes a little bit, and then you get this little message, this little alert that shows that they have successfully posted. And then you can also go back out to this area and it will give you the last posted date and time here. So that just verifies that they went through. Sometimes these are a different color. If you manually change the grade to something, I think comes out yellow or something like that. But as long as you have a little date and time stamp here, you know that those grades went through. And as always, if you have any questions or need any assistance, you can ask your TTL for help.